What do drones, infertility, and the CIA have in common? Polio? Yes, the virus that was almost totally eradicated a few years ago is now being called a public health emergency by the World Health Organization. What happened? I'm Francesca and here are five facts you need to know about polio's comeback. Polio is a super contagious virus that is most threatening to children under five. Once you catch it, usually through contaminated food or water, the virus invades the nervous system, causing paralysis and sometimes death. At its height in the 1950s, the virus killed half a million people a year globally, 66,000 in the United States alone. But in 1957, American scientist Jonas Salk introduced a vaccine, and 20 years later, there were no new cases in the US. By 2003, a global eradication campaign had eliminated new cases by 99.8%. But in the past couple of years, polio has been resurging. Polio was never actually eradicated in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nigeria. New cases have popped up in 2014 in Cameroon, Equatorial Guinea, Ethiopia, Iraq, Syria, Somalia, and the West Bank in Gaza. But why? Because they're places that have seen a lot of conflict. For example, the Syrian civil war has led to the collapse of the healthcare system and forced 9 million people to live in poor sanitary conditions. The result? A polio outbreak. And to make matters worse, there are now cases of polio in neighboring Iraq. Cultural misconceptions also play a part in the polio comeback. Back in 2003, Islamic leaders in northern Nigeria stopped vaccinations because they thought it was a Western conspiracy to sterilize Muslim women. A similar thing happened in 2007 in Pakistan, when the head of the polio eradication effort was assassinated after rumors started that the vaccination campaign was also a sterilization plot. Then in February of 2013, Boko Haram killed at least nine polio workers in northern Nigeria. This kind of violence has made it hard for vaccinations to continue, though healthcare workers keep trying. Under the Obama administration, the CIA used a fake polio immunization campaign to get Osama bin Laden's family DNA. Come again? Yup, though it's never been confirmed or denied if the DNA is what led U.S. Navy SEALs to raid bin Laden's compound. Still, close to 70 public health workers have been murdered on suspicion of their involvement. Now Pakistan has the worst polio problem in the world with a vast majority of cases, and the U.S. promises never to use fake vaccinations as a CIA cover again. Some of the most lawless regions of Pakistan are also the biggest havens for polio. In Waziristan, a Taliban stronghold, close to 300,000 children haven't been vaccinated. Taliban leaders refuse to let healthcare workers in for fear that they are spying on their activities and targeting the area for drones. They've said if the drone program stops, they'll let the vaccinations begin. So far this year, there have only been 89 polio cases reported. But last year, there were only 45. That's almost double. And if the virus continues to spread, we could be looking at 200,000 new cases per year within a decade. What do you think? How many more countries will polio spread to before this global health emergency is stopped? <laughs>